when I gave up my music? Believe me, I had cassettes. I took it and I put it in my closet. I closed it. I said, that's it, God. I'm with you. <laughs> you know, I closed the closet. I went to bed. Something in the back of my mind says, nice trick. Nice one. And I was talking to myself. I made a conversation with myself. This was a battle. It was a huge battle in my heart. Trust me, it's not easy. When you have love for something, trust me, it's not easy. That's why Allah said, You will not achieve righteousness until you give with that which you love most. You find, subhanAllah, I was sleeping. I said, yeah, I've got that cassette. But I'm not going to listen to it anymore. The mind says, you hypocrite. You are trying to make yourself feel good. Don't worry. This spirit of God is going to wear out. Then you'll go back to the closet and then you'll take one sort of in between halal kind of type, you know? It's got halal beat in it. It's got something about goodness in it. So it should be okay. Then the next thing you know, you're back to the same thing. It's the same problem. It's an addiction. The toughest thing was to take all of it, go to the dumpster. And then I dumped it. Today, of course, you got electronic stuff. You know, you got all these little toys. Even your cell phones now, it's all waiting for you. Just press here. You know, it's going to start. Then we had to buy cassettes, and it costed money. Then you need a cassette player, you know. I mean, it sounds a bit antique, but it's just yesterday. <laughs> so you find, subhanAllah, you get rid of this thing. You feel exonerated. Then Allah says, you took one step from me. Now let me respond to you. Subhanallah. My life changed, took a whole different turn once that happened. So I want to share that with you.